Welcome to SharePoint 2013 following and alerts. These are quick tips and I'm Trainer Laurie. When you follow a site, simply go to the site first, click it, and then look for the word follow. Now all you have to do is find it again and you have several options. To find it again, I suggest going to OneDrive. Click OneDrive and in Site Folders you'll find all the sites that you're following. Option 2 is to go to the word Sites next to OneDrive and it will list all the sites that you're following. Option 3 is to go to your newsfeed and then click the Sites to view. To follow a document you have a couple of options. First, click the selection next to the document's name. Then go up to the Files tab and choose Follow. It will tell you immediately that you are following a document. Option 2 to follow a document is to click the ellipsis. In there you'll have the option to follow. I love the ellipsis. To find that followed document, option 1 is to go to OneDrive. We saw this earlier. And then you'll have an option for followed documents. Simply click the one you want to open it. Option 2 is to use the news feed. We saw this earlier as well. And when we click in here, it'll show the list of documents. To follow a person, first search for the person and then use the people filter. And once you find it, hover over their name and you will see a hover page including the word follow. So you can follow a person that way. It will tell you immediately that you're now following this person. To find a followed person, we can use the news feed, which we saw earlier. And it shows all the people. You click that to see the list. Alert Me allows you to get an email or a text if a change has been made to whatever you're following. In this case, a library. So we click the Library tab and find Alert Me. When you click the drop down, there are two options. We want Set Alert on this library. In there, you have multiple options. The first is what do you want to call the alert? What's the title for the alert? The next is how would you like to be sent the alert? What's the delivery method? Email or text message? And the third option on this screen is change type. Do you want to see alerts when all changes are made, when only new items are added, when existing items are modified, or items are deleted? Scroll down and you can see the option to send me an alert when anything changes or someone else changes a document, someone else changes a document created by me, or someone else changes a document last modified by me. And then when to send the alerts. You can have the notification sent immediately on a daily summary or on a weekly summary and you can choose what time to have it sent. Then click OK. The other option under Alert Me is Manage My Alerts. In there you can also add an alert. So click Add Alert and you can choose what you want to set an alert on. In this whole site you choose if it's a documents, images, pages, etc. We want documents, so we click Next. Again, you go through the same set of options that we saw earlier. Give it a, a title, delivery method, change type, send alerts for these changes, and when to send alerts. Once you've created alerts on the site, you can see all of them for this site in the Manage My Alerts. And you'll get a email message that you have successfully created an alert, just like you'll get when you start seeing changes made to your documents.